Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Finally, I am on the covenant that way of life. Online and on site, let's be on our feet this evening as we begin to appreciate the name of the Lord. Let's begin to adore Him. Let's celebrate His majesty. Let's thank Him for who He is and for what He has done. Let's celebrate Him. Let's adore Him for the privilege He has granted to me and you once again tonight to gather before Him. Let's give Him all the glory. Let's give Him adoration. Many wish to to be alive this day but they are nowhere to be found here we are standing before him let's celebrate his majesty let's thank him for great benefit we have enjoyed both as a church and as individual let's celebrate him let's adore him are you thanking him from the depth of your heart if he has been good to you let's lift up our voice let's appreciate his majesty father we lift your name on high we appreciate you king of glory for great and mighty things you've done for us, both as a church and as individual. In the name of Jesus Christ. What area do you want to see God tonight? In which area do you want to experience Him? Begin to table your expectation before Him. Father, show yourself strong and mighty. In the name of Jesus Christ. We have done according to your commandment. You have strengthened us and we have waited upon you. Here we are before you, O Lord. Grant to every desire, O Lord. Grant every desire. Supply every need according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, let every expectation be granted. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be, O Lord, that no one will go back the same way they come. In the name of Jesus Christ, both online and on site, do what only you can do in the life of every worshiper. And at the end, we vow to return all glory to your holy name. Thank you because we know it is done. Blessed be unto your holy name forevermore. For in Jesus' most powerful name, we have prayed. Amen. I'm sure God has been so good to us at the course of the week. And I'm sure we have a multitude of testimony. If you are hungry and you have a testimony, please go to the foyer to register your testimony with the minister waiting there. Perhaps you are online. There is a number and also email address display on the screen. Please do send in your testimony. And I see our great God multiplying and preserving your testimony as you do so in the name of Jesus Christ. We join our heart. Let's put our hands together for Jesus as we welcome the choir to take us further. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we bless you tonight. We ask that you alone be glorified in this place in Jesus' name. Yes, you are the Lord. Most high. Yes, you are the Lord. Most high. Yes.
Shout, 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 hallelujah. Put your glorious hands together for Jesus and be seated in the presence of God. We'll be rising up to pray shortly tonight. What we do, we say, Father, thank you for the great multitude you drafted into our services last Sunday and for granting supernatural restoration to every worshiper by a word. Can I hear a resounding amen to that? For direction, the Bible is speaking in Joel 2 and verse 25. And I will restore to you the yes that the locusts had eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. Someone that has been restored, rise up on your feet like an army and begin to give God thanks for that restoration that you have received and the great multitude that he gathered and drafted into our both two services on Sunday and for granted supernatural restoration to every worshiper by your word. We say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you for the great multitude you drafted into our services last Sunday and for granting oh supernatural restoration to every worshiper by your word. We return tonight like that one leper. We say thank you. We say thank you. We give you praise. We give you all the glory. Father, we say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord, for the great multitude you drafted into our services last Sunday for granting supernatural restoration to every worshiper by word. Yando Kasanta Yabale Kosonte. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Lord, we say thank you, Lord, for the great multitude you drafted into our services last Sunday for granting supernatural restoration restoration to every worshiper by your word we say thank you i hope heaven is hearing your voice don't mutter words be focused be intentional tonight you can do better in the language of the spirit you can do better in your understanding tonight let everyone hear your voice as you begin to thank him from the depth of your heart Lord, we say thank you. We give you praise for the great multitude oh, you drafted into our services last Sunday for granting supernatural restoration to every worshiper by war. Randu Kashata Kaya Badu Kosunta Ye Kashantaya. Call Rukushanta Ya Zebranta Yabada. Now begin to thank him in the language of the spirit. Let heaven hear your voice. Randu Kashantaya. Oh, this is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our hearts. We thank you, Lord, for the restoration. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Father, we thank you for the great multitude you drafted into our services last Sunday for granting supernatural restoration to every worshiper by a word. Yadu kashanta ya badu kosunte ye kashanta ya badu kosunte ye kashanta ya. Somebody pray in the language of the spirit. He that give a thanks to the spirit, do as it right. Do the right thing now. Maze kataka ya badu kosunte ye kashanta ya. Father, we say thank you. We give you praise. We give your glory we give you honor we give you adoration we thank you lord for the great multitude you drafted into our services last sunday for granting supernatural restoration oh to every worshiper by your world nando kashanta yabado kosonte ye with your hands lifted up above your head just wave it to the almighty god you can give him a clap offering oh for his doings are marvelous he alone deserves all the praise and all the glory for in jesus most powerful name we pray Put your beautiful hands together with Jesus and be seated in the presence of God. Praise the Lord. I'm finally on the covenant highway of life. Shortly we shall be rising to take prayer number two. When we do, we say, Father, in the name of Jesus, heal everyone called sick in the winner family this month and restore to them, restore them to perfect health. Can I hear believing amen? Anchor scripture, Acts 3, 16. And his name, through the faith in his name, had made this man strong. Whom you see and know, yeah, the faith which is by him, had given him this perfect soundness in presence of ye all. With this understanding, rise up as a soldier, as we begin to pray. Pray with faith, pray believing as we say, Father, in the name of Jesus, heal everyone called sick in Wiener family this month and restore 
to them perfect health. Is somebody praying? Is somebody praying? Father, in the name of Jesus, heal everyone called sick in the winner family this morning and restore to them to perfect health. Somebody pray, somebody pray. Don't mutter what, don't look around. Make sure heaven is hearing your voice as we say, Father, heal everyone called sick in the winner family this month and restore to them perfect health. Restore to us perfect health. Father, heal everyone called sick. The Bible said how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with Holy Ghost and power who went about doing Doing good and healing everyone that is sick. Father, tonight we ask in the name of Jesus, let there be healing for your people. Heal everyone called sick. Heal every chronic diseases. Heal every bloodline diseases. Heal every long age, long diseases. Let it be healed tonight. Let everyone be healed tonight. Let there be restoration of health. Somebody pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, heal everyone called sick sick in the winner family this moon and let there be restoration of hell. Somebody pray Raske Peliato you can power this prayer in the Holy Ghost sir. and you can also pray in your understanding. Rasika Telia Ko Paliande. Rabala Telia Ko Shata. Reske Tepeliande Le Ko Salia. Rede de 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 Reka Se Palie Ko Talia. Reka de Belekete. Father let there be healing. Heal O Lord. Restore O Lord. Restore health, restore perfect health. Re kasha palatelia, re te te peli andosia, re si kateli ande, raske peli andolia ka. Somebody pray, somebody pray, pray believing, pray believing, pray with faith. Raske ke peli ata. The Father, let there be healing tonight as you restore perfect health to your people. Rasi ke telia koshata, re sendele pele kotalia. Is there no bomb in Gilead? Why is the health of my people not restored? Father, let there be restoration of health. Let there be restoration of health. Let there be healing tonight. Resata palatelia. Resicatelia capara. No one called sick will return sick. Rase peletelia. You said in Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. And my people shall possess their possession. Everyone that has stepped into your presence is receiving healing tonight. Is somebody praying? Rase peli andos katalia. Re te peli atalia. Re se keteli ata. Father heal. Re balados yata. Somebody that believe. Somebody that believe. Oh, begin to appreciate him. Begin to give him all the praise. Begin to give him all the glory for the healing that has taken place. Somebody that believe. Re give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory for that healing. Give him glory for restoration of health. Oh, with hand lifted up. I appreciate the king of glory. I appreciate him with a wave offering and a clap offering. Give him all the praise. Father, we give you all the glory. Thank you, faithful God, for in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed and given thanks. Give Jesus a big, big hand as you take your seat in his presence. Praise God. I am finally on the covenant highway of life name of Jesus Christ. We shall yet be taking prayer number three when we do. We say, Father, let your word have a free course and be glorified in the lives of every worshiper, thereby drawing many more to this church all through this month and beyond. Our anchor scripture is taken from the book of 2 Thessalonians 3, verse 1, as it reads, Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified even as it is with you. With this scripture now, how wherever we are online on Sasha, we'll be upstanding with one accord. Lift up your voice unto the holy hills as we continue. My Lord and my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, let your word have a free course and be glorified in the lives of every worshiper in Winners Chapel, Birmingham, thereby drawing many more to this church all through this month and beyond. Everlasting King of glory, Father, as a church and as a people, have we come across it upon your altar. Therefore, Lord, as our little love our voices, Father, let your word have a free course and be glorified in the lives of every worshiper, thereby drawing many more to this church all through this month and beyond. In the name of Jesus Christ, ever faithful God, 
as a church and as a people lord we come calling that you let the world have a free course and be glorified in the lives of every worshiper thereby drawing many more to this church all through this month and beyond in the powerful name of jesus christ as we pray in this hour lift up your voice minute with god this moment is a day that is never like any lord we worship you my father and my god let your word have a free course and be glorified in the lives of uh, every worshiper, thereby drawing many more to this church all through this month and beyond. Uh, in the powerful name of Jesus, can we pray as we are led in the spirit? Can we pray with understanding? Lift up your voice, Rituma, Rituma, Rakala Katula, Zeze, Kuria Lizaza, Makuri, Rete Kuria Litaria, Zulmanga Haliali Pratahura, Rebu Hurika, Zaza Kuria Lia, Elia Lia. Father, we worship you. We celebrate you, Lord. It can only be you, Lord. Therefore, Father, upon this altar of encounter, we ask, O Lord, that you let your word have a free course and be glorified in the lives of every male worshiper, female worshiper, young and old, thereby drawing many more to this church all through this month and beyond in the powerful name of Jesus. Everlasting King of glory, we worship you. There is no like unto the Ugo. Thou are worthy of praise. May you rule and reign forevermore. My Father and my King. Rete Katori Alora. La Katula La Katula. Zese Kolizia. Zamumara. La Toria. Re Rahia. Mangodele Pratahura. La Gode Heria. My God and my King. You are worthy of praise. Lord, let your word. Have a free course uh, and be glorified uh, in the lives of every worshiper, thereby drawing many more uh, to this church uh, all through this month and beyond. Uh, in the powerful name of Jesus, brethren, in the Lord, uh, if you know the Lord has answered your prayer this hour, lift up your hands uh, above your head uh, and worship this God. Uh, salute His Majesty. This God is ever faithful. Many to Him right now, my Lord and my God, will worship you. We greet Your Majesty, Lord. Thank you, our Father, in Jesus mighty name we have given tongues put your hands together as you take your humble seats in his presence praise the lord and finally on my covenant highways of life please let's uh, quickly listen to this announcement and be blessed kindly listen to the following announcement and be blessed prophetic focus for the month and the book of the month the prophetic prophetic focus for the month is i will restore it unto you and the recommended books of the month are displayed on the screen and also available at the Bamiyan Bookshop. Or you may uh, approach the foyer through all, and all our digital platform. Membership establishment journey. All our new converts and new members are encouraged to go through our membership establishment journey as displayed on the screen. For your speedy establishment in the faith and turning you into instant disciple of Christ through the various steps. Many and for any inquiry on this, please see contact details on the screen or watch out for inquiry table by foyer after the service. Share your testimony. No doubt the God of this commission has visited you in diverse ways since the year began. Please be reminded you can share your testimony during our live service or send them through the phone numbers displayed on the screen. God shall multiply them in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Covenant hour of prayer in person and via Zoom. All this week from Monday to Friday by 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. or Saturday 9 a.m. The connection details are as shown on the screen. God bless you as you come and connect. Winner Satellite Fellowship WSL Old Nest Sunday, the 12th August 2023. Our WSL Cell meeting all this Saturday at the various locations. All Zona and cell ministers should sensitize our members via WhatsApp, text messages for a great time of fellowship with the brethren. Good news. Hallelujah. <laughs> Annual Youth Alive Convention Year 2023. Team Breaking New Ground. Uzai 1012 will be hosted by our European headquarters, Winners Chapel International Darfur from Tuesday the 22nd to Saturday 26th August 2023. All you are money to prayerfully prepare for the encounter of a lifetime. Please note that regis registration is now closed and the leave for payment is already being sent out 
for all participants to engage. More information on logistics will be communicated in due course. Pastoral enlistment. Praise the Lord. In view of the continuous growth, vacancy now exists for pastoral enlistment in this commission. All interested and eligible applicants with proven calling to ministry shall be encouraged to fill out the application form online at www.winnersifechapel.org.uk or on or before the deadline. Closing day is Sunday, the 13th August 2023. Summer Junior Bible School, all from 14 to 18 August 2023. The time is 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. daily. Parents are admonished to ensure their teenager registered and provide all necessary support for their participation. Good news. Next Sunday at Winners Chapel, Birmingham. Next Sunday, the 13th August 2023, shall be our special monthly communion service tag covenant day of fruitfulness hallelujah expect an encounter with his word that will change your life forever first service is 9 a.m second service 11 50 a.m remember to continue to follow up on your convert and come expectant and with a brand new soul for christ you are next to be announced to your word in the name of jesus christ it is testimony time please Let's listen to this documented testimony and you will testify of yours in the name of Jesus. Plague of sickness destroyed after joining this commission. The testifier is Christopher Okeke. I joined this commission in 2018, beaten, battered, and sick. The hospital became the second home of my family and nothing was working for me. However, I left the east and came to Kenaland and Bishop David Oedepo encouraged first time to engage with every instruction and prophetic declaration from the altar for three months. While he made, made declaration in that service, he caused every siege over our career, family, and life. I came into, into the declaration and engaged in kingdom advancement prayer. I also invited people and all my friends to church. That same year, in August, my family joined me. Since we joined this church the date none of my farm family has false falling sick and my business has been restored i return all glory to god put your hands together you, you can do better number two ill of excruciating pain via prophetic declaration by asafa koforola in november 2020 i had excruciating pain in my body each time i used drugs i went to see a doctor and i was told it could be partial stroke which I rejected. When the pain persisted, I went back to the doctor and I was placed on drugs. The pain subsided, but I was not totally ill. However, it came again early this year and I tried to manage it. During the 40th anniversary prophetic feast, I was on ground. While Bishop David Oedepo made declaration in one of the services, he said, when you wake up tomorrow, you will be totally ill. I came into it. Truly, I woke up healed now i am totally healed of all pain i give god all the glory who is the door of this testimony you can do better for jesus jesus is lord praise the lord i'm finally on the covenant highway of life and in a short while we shall be rising up to pray and we shall be praying thus, Father, supernaturally meet the needs of all our new converts and members so they can settle down in this church. Take root downwards and bear fruit upwards. I thought I would hear a bigger amen. amen. Isaiah 37, 31. It said, and the remnant that is escaped of the house of Judah shall again take root downward and bear fruit upward. How we said to pray tonight? Please let's rise up on our feet. Let's lift up our voice and say, Father, supernaturally meet the needs of all our new converts and members so they can settle down in this church. In the name of Jesus, take root downwards and bear fruit upward. In the name of Jesus, Father, supernaturally meet the needs of all our new converts and members so they can settle down in this church to take root downward and bear fruit upward in the name of jesus christ we ask oh god that you shall supernaturally meet the needs meet the needs of all our new converts let their need be supernaturally met according to your riches in glory 
Father, supernaturally meet the needs of all our new converts, of all our new members, so that they can settle down in this church. Let them take root downward and bear fruit upward in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, supernaturally meet the needs of all our new converts and members so that they can settle down in this church to take root downwards and bear fruit upward. In the name of Jesus Christ, let of the, every of their need be supernaturally met. Let every of their need be supernaturally met. Let every of their need be supernaturally met. Grant all their heart desire. Grant all their heart desire. In the name of Jesus Christ, give them a testimony. Give them a testimony of once I was blind and now I can see. Give them a testimony of once I was poor and now I I am rich. Give them a testimony of one I was weak and now I am strong. Give them a testimony of once I was barren and now I am fruitful. Supernaturally meet the need of all our new converts. Meet the need of all our new members so that they can settle down in this church. Take root downwards and bear fruit upward. Take root downward and bear fruit upward in the name of Jesus Christ. Liko shata maradaba, liko radaba gashakata, liko zota radibushkidiara, liko zita maradaga bagada yaragada, liko dukuru, libraskidiaragada, in the name of Jesus Christ. Supernaturally meet the needs of all our new converts and members so that they can settle down in this church. In the name of Jesus Christ, meet every one of them at the point of their need. In the name of Jesus Christ, as they step their feet in this place, let every of their desires be converted to testimony. Meet them at the point of their need. Meet them at the point of their need so that they can settle down in this church to take root downwards and be a fruit of all. To take root downwards and be a fruit of all. To take root downwards and be a fruit of all. In the name of Jesus Christ, let none of their desires let them go. Let them go. Let none of their desires be on fulfilled in the name of Jesus Christ. Meet every of their needs. Meet every of their needs. Grant every of their desires in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we say thank you. Let's begin to appreciate the name of the Lord. Let's give him praise because there shall be supernatural meeting of the needs of all our newcomers and first-timers. Father, we say thank you because they shall settle down in this church for life. They shall take root downward and they shall be a fruit upward. Lord, we say thank you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let's wave our hands to him. Let's appreciate him because every need of our first-timers and new members shall be supernaturally made. To him alone behold the glory. Thank you and thank you most high God. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Please let's put our hands together for Jesus and have our seat. Praise the Lord. I am finally on the covenant highway of life. Again in a very short while we'll be rising to our feet when we do we'll be saying Father we decree null and void every oppression of principalities and powers against the continuous growth of this church. Your resounding amen can actually put the devil to run tonight. The Bible speaking in Isaiah chapter 8 verse 10. Take counsel together and it shall come to naught. Speak the word and it shall not stand. For God is with us. If we are set to pray tonight, why don't you rise to your feet, lift up your voice, and begin to say, Father, we decree null and void every oppression of principalities and powers against the continuous growth of this church in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, we decree null and void every oppressions of principalities and powers against the continuous growth of Winners Chapel International Birmingham in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody lift up your voice. Make sure that God is hearing your voice tonight. La topre cotiatela in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Oh God, we decree tonight null and void every operation of principalities and powers against the continuous growth of this church in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody pray in your understanding. Somebody you can pray in the Holy Ghost. By all means tonight, make sure that God is hearing your voice of prayer. Father, as a church, we decree null and void every oppression of principalities and powers against the continuous growth of this church. Winners Chapel Birmingham in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, Erate Kotolia, Magala Gabarade, Ekatale Brandosia, Ekatale Brandosia, Ekele Boriatosia, Makatakata, Eketelia Barate Kotolia, in the name of Jesus, Esaga Late Kote, Parusia Te Kotela, in the name of Jesus Christ, we decree null and void. Every oppression of principalities and powers against the continuous growth of this assembly. Erusia katakata. E balala la potia, e canano priando siata, e calabarato siacata, regete kete, a pelega de pregade, capelega de pregade zagade, somebody pray some more, pray some more, pray in the Holy Ghost, right down, e rabrado siacata, e rabracato sigala, macote cotele, e rando siacata, pereco coticatolia, in the name of Jesus, e shata tale. In the name of Jesus Christ, somebody lift up your hands, lift up your voice, go ahead and appreciate God tonight for answer prayer. Lord, we thank you. We give you glory. We magnify your name. Thank you for answer prayer. You are worthy to be praised. In Jesus' name, it is done. Put your hands together for Jesus and please be seated. Praise the Lord. I am finally on the covenant highways of life. Tonight, we shall here be praying in this section. We'll be praying towards Sunday services. Saying, Father, gather record-breaking multitude into our services next Sunday and terminate all forms of barrenness in the life of every worshiper by your word. We're taking our bearing from Deuteronomy 7.14. Thou shalt be blessed above all people. There shall not be made or female body among you, or among your cattle. We don't understand it. We faith in our heart tonight. Let's be upstanding as we begin to engage this prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, eh, we ask tonight eh, that you will gather, Lord, record-breaking multitude, eh, Lord, into our services next Sunday, Lord. Father, you are the God of multitude. Eh. Gather them from anywhere and everywhere. Lord, in the first service, Lord, gather them. In the second service, Lord, gather them, Lord. Let this auditorium, Lord, overflow, Lord, with multitude. According to your word, your word says, and the multitude of people is the king's honor. Father, honor yourself. Come Sunday, as you gather, Lord, record-breaking multitude, overwhelming multitude, the way we have never seen before. Father, empty the entire city into our service this coming Sunday. Make sure you are praying. Don't look around. Pray with faith in your heart. Father, in the name of Jesus, gather, Lord, record breaking multitude into our service next Sunday. Lord, as you gather them, Lord, terminate, Lord, all forms of barrenness in the life of all worshippers. Lord, according to your word, you say, Lord, we shall be blessed above all people, and there shall not be made nor female barren amongst us, even our cattle, Lord. Father, Lord, as you gather the multitude, validate your word in the life of all worshippers, Lord. Lord, as we behold your word, Lord, let your word terminate, Lord, all forms of barrenness, and let there be supernatural compassion in the name of Jesus. 
Father, by your word, terminate law all forms of barrenness, barrenness of the mind, barrenness of the spirit, barrenness of the soul, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask tonight, Lord, Lord, you will gather, Lord, record breaking multitude into our service come Sunday, Lord, as you gather there by your word, Lord. Terminate, Lord, all forms of barrenness in the life of all worshippers. Father, your word says, Lord, say, Thou shalt serve the Lord thy God. He shall bless thy bread and water and take sicknesses away from thee. And there shall not be barren in the land, Lord. On the platform of service, Lord, Lord, we lay hold, Lord, to fruitfulness, Lord. As we serve you, Lord, Father, terminate, Lord, all forms of barrenness in the name of Jesus. Our Bible says, God remember Rachel and God hack it to her and God her open her womb. Father, Lord, come Sunday. Lord, let Sunday Lord, be a Sunday of remembrance, Lord. Open every closed wound by your word eh, in the name of Jesus. Are eh, you pray tonight? Is God hearing your voice? Eh, pray with faith in your heart. Father, in the name of Jesus, eh, gather, Lord, record breaking multitude, Lord. Lord, gather them eh, from anywhere and everywhere. As you gather them, Lord, by your word, Lord. Terminate, Lord, all forms of barrenness, Lord, in the life of your people, Lord. He said, I will have respect unto you and make you fruitful and establish my covenant with you. Father, come Sunday, Lord, cause your people to be fruitful on all sides. In the name of Jesus, if you know God has had you, appreciate him, celebrate him. Give him all the praise, give him all the glory. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Give Jesus a big hand and please be seated. Praise the Lord. In this glorious midweek service, it is time for personal supplication. That is the time when every individual will be rising up, crying unto the Lord. Over those matters that are individual, unique to them. Those things that they want God to turn around. And we shall be taking understanding from the book of Psalms chapter 40, in verse 1. Psalms 40 verse 1, the psalmist said, he said, And I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined unto me, and he heard my cry. Tonight, God will hear someone's cry in the name of Jesus. And then in verse 2, he went on, see what the Lord did. He said, and he brought me out of a horrible pit, out of the mire clay. He set my feet upon the rock, and he established my goings. And then verse 3 in A, he said, and he put a new song in my mouth. Tonight, that will be someone's testimony in the name of Jesus. Therefore, you have the next five minutes. Rise up, take a position that's comfortable to you, and begin to cry unto the Almighty. Lord, tonight is my night. Lord, hear my cry. Over my finances, over my career, over my business, my marriage, oh Lord. Every aspect of my life, Lord, I cry unto you tonight. That married clay situation, bring me out. Establish my goings. Set my feet upon the rock. Grant me a new song. Take opportunity tonight. Don't be bothered about who is on your right, who is on your left. Begin to cry unto the Lord. Be left alone tonight for a change. Be left alone tonight for a change.
Cry tonight, cry tonight, Rako to Shikiti. Cry tonight, cry tonight, you have come unto Mount Zion. Cry tonight, cry tonight, God is about to do something new. Put a new song in your mouth. You have two minutes more, make the most of it. Cry tonight because something is changing. Tonight is that night of change for you. Let's begin to thank the Lord with the intensity by which you have prayed, by which you have cried. Also, give Him thanks. Give Him thanks because He has heard you. Give Him thanks because He has done it. Give Him thanks because He has brought you out of the horrible pit. Give Him thanks because He has established your goings. Thank Him tonight. Thank Him tonight. Thank him tonight, the doer of all this that he has done for you. Father, we give you the glory. Thank you, Jesus, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And God has done something for you tonight. Give the Lord a big clap of your hands. And please be seated in God's presence. Praise the Lord. I'm finally on the covenant highway of life. Tonight, it is offering time. Shall we begin to package our seed, our tithes, offerings, and all other kingdom investments with which we have come to worship the Lord? Please don't forget your transport and welfare seed as we will welcome the media to project the giving clip. Hallelujah. Hello, everyone. Ways to give are online via our website, text to give, or in service. Give online by visiting the giving page of our website at www.winners-chapel.org.uk. Click the online option and follow the on-screen instructions. Before submitting, if you are eligible for gift aid, do not forget to indicate. The details to give via text for your local church can also be found on our website. If you require further assistance, do not hesitate to contact us via email or telephone. God bless you as you give. Hallelujah. As we saw our seed tonight, let's take understanding from his word. Psalm 20, beginning from verse 1. He said, The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend you. Why he will send you help from his sanctuary. And why? Because he will remember all your offerings and your bond sacrifice. As you saw your seat tonight, heaven will intervene on your behalf in the name of Jesus. You are set to give tonight. Let's be upon our feet. Lift it up with thanksgiving and gratitude to God tonight. Present it to him and prophesy upon your seat tonight that it will be acceptable to him. As you saw tonight, you will never know financial shame. The works of your hands are blessed. In the name of Jesus. He said he will open the heavens upon you. Fresh wisdom, fresh favor, abundance becomes your portion. Father, we give you thanks. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Keep the seed lifted up. Father, in obedience to your word, as we saw our seed tonight, Lord, let every devourer be rebuked in the name of Jesus. Let the works of our hands be blessed. And Lord, open unto us your good treasure. Let it be a good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over with your blessings in the name of Jesus. Every hand lifted up will never know financial shame in the name of Jesus. We give you thanks and we give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Please, let's be seated 
as we continue to process our seed and welcome the choir for their administration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The entrance of God's word giveth life and it giveth understanding to the simple. Hallelujah.
thank him and thank him for his goodness upon our lives his faithfulness upon our lives somebody appreciate this good god thank him and thank him he deserves all the praise he deserves all the glory he deserves all the glory he deserves all the glory thank him and thank him exalt his name high exalt his name high he deserves all the praise he deserves all the glory thank you and thank you lord blessed be unto your holy name thank you and thank you lord in jesus mighty name we have given time can you help us to sing incredible god please incredible god you are an incredible god incredible god incredible you is in our midst extraordinary specialist somebody worship this good God Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be unto your holy name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight, every form of sickness will be humiliated. Every form of attack will be destroyed. The incredible God will do his incredible things in our midst. Everyone will be leaving this service with a testimony to share. Lord, once again, manifest yourself. Glorify yourself. And let everyone have an encounter with your word tonight. Lord, by your word, settle everyone. By your word, heal the sick. 
by the word cleanse the leper anyone afflicted with any form of sickness lord tonight let it be a night of healing a night of instant testimonies in the name of jesus christ holy ghost take over and let your name alone be glorified in jesus mighty name we have prayed somebody will say a bigger amen put your hands together let's comfortably take our seat in his presence want to appreciate god and his servant in the house to bring unto us the teachings for tonight i trust god for everyone that this night will be one of the nights that you live to remember god will be visiting every one of us via his word in the name of jesus christ our prophetic focus still remains i will restore health unto you can we say that together now personalize it he will restore health unto me in our midweek teaching series we have been looking at meet jesus the great physician and his great prescription meet jesus the great physician and his great prescription jesus is our great physician that is why the bible declares in tell john verse 2 he said beloved i wish above all that thou mayest what prosper and be in what be in good health so it is the wish and the desire of god that you and i live a healthy life look at how god addressed us beloved he can you can never be his beloved and he will attack you with sickness he said, beloved, in case you can't hear me, I wish above everything that I've created that you be in good health and also prosper. As much as I'm prospering you, you must also be in good health. And I trust God for tonight, whatever that sickness is, do be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only great physician who heals all all manner of sicknesses and diseases and hear the good news and he has empowered his disciples to do the same he is not only healing you but he has also empowered you to do the same look at bible speaking in matthew chapter 10 verse 1 matthew 10 verse 1 and when he has called unto him the 12 he gave them power somebody say power he called the twelve and gave them what? Power. Against what? Unclean spirit. To do what? To cast out. So anything to do with sickness, you don't negotiate. You cast them out. Hear this. And to heal all manner of what? And all manner of what? Diseases. He called them and gave them power. Tonight, you are living here without power in your hand. Look at Matthew chapter 10, verse 8. The same chapter. Matthew 10, verse 8. Now, after giving them the power, he confirmed it. He said, now, heal the sick. Cleanse the leper. Raise the dead. Cast out what? Devils. He gave them that authority, that power. Now, he has confirmed it in verse 8. Now that you have that power, all that I expect from you is to heal the sick. From tonight, any form of sickness will be humiliated tonight. Now, look at Luke chapter 9. Now, this time, he upgraded their power level. Luke chapter 9, verse 1. Look at it carefully now. Then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and what? Authority. So, anywhere the devil is mentioned, what you need is authority. Initially, he gave them power for unclean spirit. But this time, he gave them power and what? Authority. He said, I need to upgrade your power level now. Because what I gave you initially is for sickness. But now, if the devil comes on your way, I give you what? Authority. So tonight, what do you carry? Power and what? Authority. Oh, let that be very loud. Declare to yourself, I carry power and authority. Oh, you are not saying that somebody who carries it. Say that confidently. Say that boldly. 
I carry power and authority. From tonight, that power and authority will be speaking through you. To confirm his word, in, let's move on to Luke chapter 9, verse 6. Luke chapter 9, verse 6. And he said, departed and went through the town, preaching the gospel, healing everywhere. Healing everywhere. But let's look at this. Let's be very, very careful. But people who argue today with the prescription of the great physician without knowing they are doing so at a risk to their own life. How can this be? How can you take communion and be healed? How can you be prayed for and be healed? Do you know how many specialists that I have? They have tried that they can't do it. It is not possible. Please don't be part. Because I know tonight, via the communion, your health will be fully restored. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 32. Deuteronomy 5, verse 32. And ye shall do this. Ye shall observe to do, therefore, as the Lord your God has commanded you. Ye shall not turn aside to the right or to the left. Ye shall walk in all the ways which the Lord your God has commanded you, that ye may live, that it may be well with your, you, that ye may prolong your days in the land which ye shall possess. So the instruction coming tonight, please hold on to it. God is going to unveil unto us one of the mysteries that will humiliate and bring the devil down at all time. And I trust God that our spiritual eyes will be open in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at Matthew chapter 13, verse 11. Matthew 13, verse 11. He answered and said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries. Somebody say the mysteries. The mysteries of the kingdom of heaven unto you. We are meant to do the mysteries. And one of the mysteries that we are going to consider tonight is feet washing. Is feet washing. Healing wonder in feet washing. Healing wonder in feet washing. Now, why feet washing? God is a wise God. When your feet is treated, you gain speed. A man on feet is faster than a man on hands. If you are running with your hand and I'm running with my feet, there is no doubt. There will be no competition. So when your feet is, are treated, you gain speed. Not only speed, you also gain stability. That is why when your feet are treated, every part of your body stands out. And I trust God that by this revelation, Every one of us will be walking in the realms of wonders in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. According as his divine power has given unto us all things, somebody say all things, that pertain unto life and godliness. Through the knowledge of him that has called us toward glory and virtue. Feet washing is a spiritual medium through which we take delivery of our missing inheritance in Christ. It's a spiritual medium. And I'm going to break it down with testimonies to let you know that it works. And if it works, it will work for you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at some of the things that Christ has given unto us. Revelation chapter 5. Verse 12 gives us the summary of what belongs to us in redemption. Revelation chapter 5 verse 12. It says, Saying with a loud voice, Worthy is a lamb that was slain to receive what? Power, riches, wisdom, strength, honor, glory, and what? Blessing. The first one is what? Power. And Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Behold, I give unto you what? So that was given to us is part of our redemptive right. Most people are at risk or at, are failing because they don't know what they carry. But tonight, I trust God that your power level will change level. He said, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and not of nothing shall by any means hurt you. The second one is what? Riches. Riches. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. But my God shall supply all your need according to us, his riches in glory. Psalm 112, verse 2. 
Psalm 112 verse 2. I'm just backing this with scriptures for you to know that they are your redemptive right. Psalm 112 verse 2. Wealth and riches shall be in whose house? In your house. So you are entitled to be rich. Declare to yourself, I'm entitled to be rich. Oh, somebody is not saying that confidently. You are entitled to be rich according to the word of God. Now the next one is what? Wisdom. Wisdom. Where was it? And that was slain to give us power, riches, and wisdom. And 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 24. He said, Christ, the power and the wisdom of God. So if you have Christ in your life, that means the wisdom of God will flow, must flow through you. And I pray for every student in this house. From today, you will no longer see any failure again. By the wisdom of God that will be speaking through you, everything of yours, your coursework, will be outstanding. What again? Strength. In Revelation chapter 5 verse 12, God gave us strength. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse, 1, verse 17. For I will restore health unto thee and heal thee of all thy own. Then he also talk about honor, which is dignity, respect. John chapter 12 verse 26. John 12 verse 20. If any man serve me, let him follow me. And where I am, there shall my servants also be. If any man serve me, him will my father hold honor. So by your service, you are entitled to the honor of God. And when God honors you, no man can bring you down. That is why I know from tonight, the honor of God will be speaking in your life. What again? He mentioned glory. Mentioned glory. 2 Corinthians 3 verse 18. But we all, with open face, beholding as a glass, as in a glass, the glory of the Lord, and are changed into the same image, from what to what? Glory to glory. That should be your status. That's why he said, for any shame that you have suffered, there will be double restoration of his glory. What again, he also talk about blessing. Psalm 68, verse 19. Psalm 68, verse 19. Blessed be the Lord who daily loaded us with his benefit, even the God of our salvation. So these are your parts in redemption. That tonight, every one of us will be taking this home. The amen is too low. I said tonight, whatever that is missing, by the mystery of the feet washing, you'll be taking yours in the name of Jesus Christ. Now let's go into the mystery of the feet washing now. The mystery of the feet washing as unveiled by Christ. Now, feet washing simply getting a bowl of water, putting your legs into it, seeing that bowl of water as a medium through which whatever belongs to you, you take it. So you see that bowl of water. Now look at Jesus' demonstration over here. In John chapter 13, verse 3. John 13, verse 3. Uh, uh, media, let's be very quick. John chapter 13, verse 3. He said, Knowing that the Father had given all things into the hands of who? Jesus. Everything that you and I need is in the hands of Jesus. And don't forget, Jesus used that hand to wash their feet, used that hand to wipe their feet. So, by contact with the hand and their feet, there was transmission. Of whatever he carries into the people that he washed their feet. Now tonight, Jesus lives in you. So your hands are the hands of Jesus. Somebody didn't say amen. I said Jesus what? Lives in you. He said as the father has sent me, so do I send you. So whatever he accomplished by the mystery of the feet washing, he has handed them over to you. As you engage this at home. The manifestation of his presence, his glory, will be speaking in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at verse 4. He rise from supper and lay aside his garment, took a towel, gilded himself. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' what? feet and to wipe them with a towel. Where it he was gilded. He was wiping their feet. That means he was bringing them into the same realm in which he was. Now look at what follows. Then verse 6. Then came Peter. To, uh, Simon Peter. 
And Peter said unto him, Lord, do I wash my feet? Jesus said unto him, What do I, he said, What I do, thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. Verse 8, look at them. Jesus responded, What opened Peter's eye? In verse 8. But Peter said unto him, Thou shalt never wash my feet. Jesus answered, If I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. If I don't wash your feet, what I carry, you can't carry. What I'm giving out, you'll be left out. But tonight, by the extension of the hand of God upon your life, as you dip your feet into the bowl of water, what Jesus carries will be speaking through you in the name of Jesus Christ. Now look at when we go on verse 10. Verse, verse 10. Jesus said unto him, He that washeth needed not save to wash his feet, but is clean every weight. He is clean every weight. So what is in this feast washing for me? So we, we have seen that this is biblical. Jesus himself did it for the disciples. And he told them, until I do this for you, your path that is missing can never be restored. I trust God for tonight that by this understanding, whatever that is missing in you, as you engage in feet washing, it will be speaking for you in the name of Jesus Christ. What is in feet washing for me? One, health and longevity. Somebody say health and longevity. By this mystery, you will live long. Oh, the amen is very low. I say, by this mystery, you will live long. Look at Deuteronomy. Somebody will say, dethrone your enemy. Verse 33, chapter 33, verse 24. Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 24. And of Asher, which is one of the tribe of Israel, he said, let Asher be blessed with children. So when your feet are treated, barrenness destroy. You become a mother of nation. Why? It's a mystery that release upon you fruitfulness. He said, let Asha be blessed with children. Let him as be acceptable to his brethren. And let him dip his foot in what? In an oil. That is financial fortune. In, in, the, in, 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 in our world today, any nation blessed with oil is blessed with riches. Any nation blessed with oil is blessed with what? Riches. Now when your feet is treated, you will dip your feet into oil. So financial struggle comes to an end. The amen is too low. Financial challenges come to an end. By this mystery, you will be walking into realms of unstoppable financial breakthrough. Now let's carry on now. He says, thy shoe shall be iron and brass. And as thy days, so shall thy strength also be. Thy feet shall be an iron. So when your feet is treated, it's no longer flesh, it's an iron. And he said, behold, I give unto you what? Power. To do what? You can't tread upon scorpion and snake with your bare foot. If you try that, they will eat you up. They will poison you. You can only tread on them when you have iron and brass shoe. Iron and brass feet. From tonight, as your feet will be treated, as you do so, no witches, no devil, there's your habitation again. By this foot, you'll be treading upon serpent or scorpion. And nothing, somebody say nothing, shall by enemies hurt me. That is the realm that God is taking you. Let the amen be very loud. Now, what are we saying? It also gives us all round cleansing power. All round cleansing power. Jesus said unto them in John chapter 13, verse 10, He that washed needed not to wash his feet, but is clean without. And ye are clean, but ye are, ye are clean. So, all round cleansing. Also, access to our missing redemptive right. Our missing redemptive right. Second Peter chapter 1. Verse 3, according as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain unto all, life and godliness. Life and godliness. What again? Supernatural victory over all the powers of the enemy. So from tonight, 
no devil dares brings you down again. As your feet will be treated, as you treat your feet, iron shoe, iron legs will be your portion from today. And anywhere that you step, you'll be taken over. Let the amen be very loud. Also, supernatural breakthrough. Somebody say supernatural breakthrough. Look at Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 17. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 17. Habakkuk 3, verse 17, quickly. Although the fig tree shall no blossom, neither shall the fruit be in a vine. The labor of the oil shall fail, and the field shall yield no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the field, and there shall be no head in the store. Verse 18. Verse 18. Yet, what will I do? I rejoice. And I will do all joy in the God of my salvation. Can we all read verse 19 together? Very loud. The Lord God is my strength. He will make what? He will make what? He will make what? Like what? And you'll be working on low places? Are you working on low places? Where will you be working? On high places. From today, when they are looking for you, they'll be looking up. No devil brings you down again. As your feet will be treated, you'll be walking in the realms of glory. Hear this and hear this testimony. Satan affliction destroy their feet washing. Listen carefully. For 22 years, I've, I vomited my food after I eat him and thereafter I ate it again. The devil does no respect. But tonight, every form of attack is coming to an end. I prayed concerning this issue several times to no avail. So I accepted it as my faith. During the faith washing service on Friday, November 27, Bishop Oyerebo said, every habit of the devil will be washed out tonight. When I got home on Saturday, I took pap and thought that I would vomit and still drank it again. However, there was no reaction. So I thought maybe the pap was too light. So I ate semovita with a goosey soup. To the glory of God, I did not vomit. By the mystery of the feet washing. Look at another testimony over here. Blood cancer destroyed via feet washing. Between 2010 and January 2013, I spent almost 75% ample time in the hospital. I was diagnosed of full-blown blood cancer, to be precise, lymphoma. And we know what this leads to. When cancer enters into your blood, that is the end. Because the blood is flowing through every part of your body. So, inside, so it's a signal that every part of your body is suffering from cancer. But here the testimony. I went through a series of chemotherapy treatment in 2011 to clear the cancer cells from my body. I almost died on the hospital bed after strong dose of two days chemotherapy and four days full body radiation with bone marrow transplant. Bone marrow. They got into the bone to take off the blood to infuse another one. Very painful. But here the testifier. On January 11, 2023, 2013, I laid lifeless on the hospital bed. I connected to one of the services in Canaan via the internet, and it was feet washing. When I heard Bishop's voice, it energized me. I stood to follow his instruction to get a bottle of water for the feet washing. Meanwhile, I was in excruciating pain, excruciating pain, but was desperate for my healing. During the feet washing session, I dipped my feet into the bowl of water, but couldn't bend to wash them with my hands. All I did was to rub and scrub one foot with another and said amen to Bishop prayer. Right there, I slept off for 20 minutes. When I woke up, I felt a tremendous change in my body. The pains vanished. My legs became lighter. I felt real peace and joy. Amazingly, the color of the water in a bowl had completely changed to a palm one like color. Immediately, I knew God had rescued me. I am finally healed. Somebody celebrate Jesus. He humiliated cancer. So headache is of no case. He humiliated cancer, blood cancer, diabetes of no case. 
Now hear this before we run up. This will challenge you. This one is medically impossible. For SS to become AA is impossible. Medically. But here, Dr. Jesus. SS turned AA via feet washing. For 24 years, I suffered from sickle cell anemia. On Friday, November 27, I attended feet washing service. Believing God from unchanged of genotype from SS to AA. As Bishop Oyedepo shared the word, just before the feet washing commenced, I encountered my word when he said, Today, by this feet washing, SS shall turn to AA. I shouted, Amen. At the top of my voice, believing it was my day of total turnaround. Therefore, I quickly wrote my expectation as we were instructed. I danced towards the water and saw it as a pool of Bethesda where I will receive my total healing. I also saw the water as a Red Sea where sickle cell anemia in my blood will be drawn forever. After the feet washing session, I placed my feet on a paper where my expectation was written while believing and thanking God for my healing. When I woke up on Saturday morning, the Holy Spirit ministered to me that I don't need to confess my healing anymore. Rather, all that I need to do, go for a test, to the hospital for a test, and see the reality of my healing. So I prepared and went for a genotype type, a genotype test to the glory of God when I got the result. My genotype has changed from SS to AA. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Tonight, that same Jesus is going to visit you. Tonight, whatever came with you is not going back with you. Can I ask you to lift up your right hand? I release upon you that by the encounter of tonight, every deposit of the devil in your body, they buy out right now. Every planting of the enemy, they buy out right now. By the encounter of today, every defeat is turned into victory. Every frustration into celebration. Every obstacle into miracle. If that is you, rise to your feet and begin to appreciate God. Begin to thank him now. Give him all the thanks for the healing. Somebody appreciate him. Celebrate him for his faithfulness upon your life. Your testimony will be sure. You will be standing on this altar to testify. Thank him and thank him for the revelation, for the mystery of the feet washing. Somebody thank him. Father, we thank you. Blessed be unto your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. But here the big bang. Jesus only washed the feet of the disciples, not the multitude. So until you are a disciple, this thing will never work for you. You can have a, a, swimming, boot, a swimming bath, even dive into it, it will not answer. But if you are a disciple, you carry, you are entitled to this redemptive right. I believe somebody needs an encounter tonight. I think somebody needs to be restored tonight. With our eyes closed, with our head bowed. Say, so Jesus, tonight is my night. I need an encounter with you. I need to experience this mystery in feet washing. And I want to be one of your disciples. With our eyes closed, with our head bowed, you want to confess Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. Please, can I plead with you? Lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand. God bless you. We have a few hands over there. God bless you. Don't look at anybody. Lift up your right hand. Put your left hand on your chest. God bless you. God bless you. Put your left hand on your chest. And lift your right hand so that I can see it. Lift it up higher so that I can see your hand. And say these prayers after me. Lord Jesus, thank you for today. For your saving grace that has reached me. Tonight, I confess you as my Lord and personal Savior. Come into my life. Die with me. And restore me to glory. Lord Jesus, forgive me of all my sins. And restore me to dignity and glory. Thank you, Lord, for accepting me. Thank you, Lord, for your word unto me. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now I pray for you. Upon this confession, the blessings of tonight will be speaking and they will answer for you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If you made this prayer, the ushers will give you a form. Please, can you complete that form for us? And we'll get back to you with more details. Church, put your hands together as we receive God's servant. Make it bigger and louder. For that powerful word from heaven tonight, put your hands together for Jesus one more time. 
That word came powerfully, and I know healings have taken place. Tonight, somebody will be wondering, now that I've heard about feet washing, what should I do? When you get home, get a bowl of water. Just pray on it, just like Jesus did. Say, Father, I declare this water blessed, the same way Jesus did it. And then wash your feet and wash the feet of members of your family. And whatever you don't want to see again in your life, tell God, as I dip my feet in that water, just like Pharaoh and the host of Egypt, they were drowned in the Red Sea. I don't want to see this challenge again. This perennial disease, this age-long affliction, I don't want to see them again. As you do it, you are returning with your testimonies. I will advise, as you get home tonight, do it. Uh, any word of God that comes like this, the person that dies first, uh, gets the, mo the most out of it. So when you get home tonight, do the feet washing for yourself and for your family. And as you do it, I'm expecting your testimonies in the name of Jesus. Let's bring out our communion material. This communion is for total head. As you take this communion tonight, whatever is the devil has planted in any part of your body that is affecting you, any trace of cancerous growth, unwanted growth, diabetes, hypertension, uh, any blood-related disease, any bone-related disease, nightmares, panic attacks. Tonight, as you take this communion, they'll be flushed out completely in the name of Jesus. Also, mental health-related issues. Uh, as you take this communion tonight, they will be destroyed completely by the power of the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Lift it up right now. Father, we declare this communion blessed as the body and the blood of Jesus. As we take it, Father, confirm your word again. Let supernatural health be restored to every one of us. Every form of sickness or disease, named and unnamed, acute incurable or terminal let them be destroyed tonight in the name of jesus validate your words once again father and let there be a rush of testimonies in jesus mighty name we are prayed let's take the communion and the choir lead us in praise i will lift up my voice i will joyfully sing not for what you have done but for who you are You are the song that I sing Melody in my heart The reason I live Is to praise you Lord I will lift up my voice Joyfully Somebody shout the glorious hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus and be seated. Just for a moment, we're going to take a few announcements as we close. Good, good news. This coming Sunday is going to be our covenant day of fruitfulness. Put your hands together for Jesus. As God has spoken to God's servant, our uh, father in the faith, Everyone believing God for the fruit of the womb. I don't care your medical condition. Uh, womb or no womb. Ovary or no ovary. Uh, menopause or no menopause. It doesn't matter. Bring your point of contact uh, for your babies to church on Sunday. And God will touch them and turn them to testimonies for you. Not only that, every one of us in our various careers and businesses bring point of contact for your business uh, every 
stagnated business or career, God will turn it around this Sunday in the name of Jesus. And as you do so, you will have your own testimonies in the name of Jesus. Also, let's keep inviting people, our friends, our loved ones to church. What God is doing here, don't be the only one enjoying it. Tell others about it. So this Sunday, make sure you come to church with your loved ones and friends. And I see God blessing everyone in the name of Jesus. Another good news. Our summer junior Bible school, SJBS, comes up next week, Monday, uh, 14th to 18th of August. Put your hands together for Jesus. And this is for teenagers only. Uh, the one for age 5 to 12, they, they are starting their own on Wednesday. That's 16th to 18th. And I see God blessing our children in the name of Jesus. Make sure, if you have not registered your teenagers, register them. Let them be imparted by the word of God. There are so many things out there that is negative that they are feeding the student. We need to inoculate them, immunize them with God's word so that they know how to stand against all these tricks of the devil. And I see God helping us. It's going to be an impactful session in the name of Jesus. Let's try to our feet tonight. Let's give God praise again. Remember our annual youth convention, youth and life convention, Ayak. It's coming up 22nd to 26th of August. I see God imparting all our use as well in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands and appreciate God for what he has done for us in this service. The word came with power, with light. Let's appreciate God for that. For healings that have taken place tonight, cancer has been humiliated, terminal diseases have been humiliated, SS has turned to heal tonight. Father, we give you praise for your mighty move in our service tonight. We return all the glory back to your name. And for souls that were saved, we say thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. As you go tonight, go in peace. Return with your testimonies. As the Lord live it, between now and Sunday morning, your testimonies are perfect in the name of Jesus. Whatever testimony you desire, especially in this season of restoration and harvest of rewards, you are getting them before Sunday morning in the name of Jesus. This Sunday, you are smiling to church with your testimonies in your hand. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Let's share the goodness. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. And finally, on the covenant highways of life. Congratulations. Amen and amen. Walk to two or three people. Tell them you will hear my testimonies this Sunday. And make sure you smile to them, ask for their names. Tell them you, they will hear your testimony this Sunday. God bless you.